It's Rock 100.5, Bailey and Southside Backstage, SunTrust Park, with the man. Metallica performs here in just a little bit. We have Kirk Hammett. Steve, don't touch. Sorry, I touched Kirk. Hey, it's okay, man. I, you know, just as long as you don't touch me in certain spots, it's okay. Well, okay. that's what. That's why I'm sitting between yeah. you two. You know what? Because you, you got great feet, dude. I'm a foot fetish guy, but on holy shit! <laughs> but, but you hate flip flops. <laughs> he's wearing flip flops. But, but he's a rock yes. star. Are you gonna wear those on stage? You know, I thought about it. And, and have you ever rolled your foot yes. while running? Yeah. yeah, that's really, really it hurts. painful. You know, I would wear flip flops on stage if I wasn't afraid to roll my foot. Yeah. Otherwise, so, so you have somebody tape you up. We saw a massage room. You guys must be a big deal in this Metallica <laughs> band. Yeah. The flip flops too. Just go bare your feet. feet. That's actually really funny. That is hilarious. Dude, you could wrestle it up, man. That's yeah. not, well, you're, you know, Kirk, you're wearing a uh, um, a surfer shirt. You're a surfer guy, but yeah. I was expecting your Lou Surfer shirt. Yes. So yes. Uh, so here's the thing. I want one. And the only reason I found out about this, I'm not going to pretend like I know everything, but I know you have one from Black Craft Cults. Yes. They also do a lot of stuff with the WWE guys. A mm -hmm. friend of mine knows a friend of his that owns the company now in Pittsburgh. That's a badass shirt, dude. That's styling. Bro, so I got a, a, a deal going on with Black Craft Cult uh, where we collaborate on, on shirts. And the Lucifer series... Is, is just the beginning of a bunch of collaborations that I'm going to do with them. And if I would have known, bro, I would have had a, a, a bunch set here to the venue and I would have given, to, given them to you and your staff. But it sounds like you have connections anyway. You can get one anyway. Well, yeah? see, that's the thing. We just might have to actually buy it. Mind blown. <laughs> mind blown. You didn't expect the Lucifer shirt. No. Yeah, that's cool. No, I, I actually looked it up. It's pretty cool. Now, you've got... And we're both surfers, by the way. I didn't want to... Steve, you're not I a surfer. I am a surfer. I've taken surf lessons. Kirk, ask I've about. surfed San Diego. Hey, there you I've go. I've surfed Malibu. Good, Boom. bro. Right there by the pier, bro, yeah. on the left side yeah. of the pier. If you're on a board and you start paddling and you can catch a wave, you're a surfer. I'm a surfer. So I got yeah. it on film and everything. Yeah. And the best surfer in the is the guy who's having the best fun in the water. That's it. That's the best surfer. I surfed the Dogtown uh, yes. waves. Nice. Is what I does he look like a surfer? Yeah, he does. He does definitely. You know, he definitely. I did long does. hair, babe. Yeah, bro. Touch it. Yeah. Can I touch yeah, you again? Yeah. I touched you. You know, twice. you're a little pale for a surfer. But I know. Well, I've been in Georgia. Yeah. I've been inside a lot. I just had a baby, so I've been inside a lot. <laughs> hey, uh, well, you my wife. Babies? My wife. Oh, I gave birth. I was about to say. He steals them from the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know. Uh, let, let's, in the stork. Let, let's talk about the tour. So, 35 years strong. Um, Metallica and 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 this tour in in support of the new album, Hardwired, but. Over 35 years, you know, I mean, there's been a lot of changes in the band. I mean, you've seen the ups, the downs, but I'm curious, in your opinion, like the biggest change that you've noticed in this band, which, in my, you know, see, I'm, 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 I'm a Metallica fan. Yeah, 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 I so, get it. You know, I that's, it. I, as a fan, I, yeah. I really... You know, the, 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 the biggest change I could see is uh, the change of... In our hair color. <laughs> <laughs> you got yeah, a color, as you know, bro. As color. You know, I am now sporting my second hair color. Yeah, yeah. And and you know, I'm not the only one in the band. We're wearing it. It's just that I think that that, that Rob might sneak a, 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 a hair 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 dye job in his hotel room at night. I don't know. The guy has like hardly any gray hair. Beautiful long black hair. Yeah, it's just amazing. <laughs> yeah, but you know. Changes. I mean, we've all become fathers, and I think uh, when that happened, you know, eight, ten years ago, it ushered in a new level of like responsibility, accountability. You know, start getting you know more thoughts, existential thoughts. You know, more thoughts about our own, own mortality. Blah blah blah. But uh, I guess you know the biggest changes uh, of. of you know, other than the music, have, have come with the fact that we're just older now, more more mature. Quote unquote. Quote unquote. Yeah, come on. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, supposedly more responsible. You know, but I I know for a fact that I am enjoying myself more than ever these days, and a lot of it has to do with the fact that just my guitar playing. I just I still really love to play my guitar, and I I, I still enjoy it just as much as I ever have been. Going out there and playing live and playing on stage and playing with the band. You're gonna I, do your nails though, Kirk, because I noticed they're chipping. Yeah, you know what, bro? I, I I did them last show, but he used a sharpie. <laughs> Is that a sharpie? <laughs> it, I well, do not well, know. Well, right, well, I just it, might now. Now, now my 16 year old's a guitarist and he's a yeah. big fan, and he says if Kirk's uh, fingernails are not black, give him this. Yeah, you so know, you're gonna black sharpie. But, yeah, but only lasts about 24 hours before you have to redo <laughs> it. Redo. But you know, nail polish. 
smells like a yeah. Yeah, 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 you know, just I, I can't know. handle it. So I hate it. So I hate it. And for guys, and for guys, you know, the smell nail, nail polish, myself included, it's horrible. Yeah, I don't want to. So, smell Steve, that this now. is what we've accomplished with one of the greatest guitarists of all time and one of the arguably biggest rock bands of all time. Yeah. Now, Kirk Hammett will now tape his ankles before he goes out on stage. And he's using my sharpie as we speak. I tape. I tape my. Oh yeah, yeah I'm gonna tape uh, my. Flip flops on flip flops business. on your yeah. feet, and now he's doing his fingernails. I think it's fantastic, and I hated to point out that you were chippy, not realizing that it was sharpie. Yeah, you know. I... <laughs> hey, you know one question I have for you, Kurt, being from uh, San Francisco, and Bailey and I. You're from talking... San Francisco? No, no, no. Oh, okay. No, no, that you no, from... his favorite band oh, yeah. is. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, see, we're two different types of music. I love Metallica. Who does it? Uh, but Journey to me is my band, and y'all grew up in the same city. And Bailey and I were talking about this on the radio about rock. And what, who is rock? Is Metallica the trunk of the tree? It, is it rock, or is it a, is it a branch of? And yeah, what about the? You know, we we're we're uh, uh, you know I, I I would say we have a, a, a thin line of grain attached to the trunk, <laughs> but we are definitely our own branch. Right. You know, we are are definitely living on, on, on our own branch. A strong branch with a tire swing, maybe. Yeah, yeah. You know, whatever. You know, a few carvings in it. You know, whatever. But I. I definitely would say that, you know, where we kind of like exist musically, we're kind of like, you know, the only ones who really are just us, yeah. you know, for want of a better term or description. It was started out hard for me, being a Journey fan here in Metallica, and then the Black Album, you know, and Bailey is way into Metallica, and I dig it, but I was saying for me, that's where you guys lightened up a little bit. You know, I have to say, I have to say one thing, I was a huge Huge Journey fan got touch until Kim, they time. got <laughs> until they got the chick in the band. Who's the chick? The no. chick in our, 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 Infinity. Oh, is there oh. a chick in your band? No. Chick in Journey. No, the chick in Journey. The lead singer is no. a dude, right? That's a dude. Oh, it's a guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> okay. So my, my 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 favorite Journey albums are Next and um, the one before that and the one before that. Journey used to be a prog rock band. Totally like heavy hitting prog with fusion style playing and heaviness until they got the chick in the band and became uh, just like you know kind of like more accessible and more commercial. Steve Perry. Yeah, but uh, you know, that Journey Next is an amazing album with ripping guitar solos, progressive uh, fusion like songs, and it, for me, it's 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 killer. But look what Metallica did. I mean, you crossed over. You got guys like me becoming a fan. And then now, would you say you're going back to your roots of being a little harder? Is that where you guys are now? You know, I, I would say that we, we just, we're just moving forward and, and we're grabbing elements that we used in our past and just like using them to make something new and different. Is that even a conversation that you guys have, like especially for Hardwired? Because I think it's an amazing album, but yeah. You know what you read online is 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 the the fans that going back to kill them all and justice for all and stuff and they go you know you guys go in there and go maybe we need to shorten up we can't do that eight minute sandman song anymore because that's the way maybe rock radio is or the music business is or i mean metallica's on a whole nother level i would think you guys would just say you know gfy go f yourself this is just how we do we're just going there and bang it out bro yeah you know <laughs> Literally, just go out and bang it out, and then it's too much thought. What I'm talking about. Yeah, and then and, and then we kind of like shape it and, and form it along the way. Where does it start with who? It just starts with all of us. I mean, we all have like you know musical ideas. You take a riff that's kind of like you know the seed of, of an uh, of a, a song, and you just jam on it until other stuff comes up, other ideas come up, and next thing you know, you have four or five parts. Start arranging it, and then you have the genesis of, of what eventually would ideally become a song. Because this is what the first album that you haven't had songwriting credit on, right? Yeah. Cause what the hell? Can I ask yeah, what the hell happened? Yeah, you know, I don't know what happened, but you, you know what? Curtain. Guaranteed, I'm sitting on a mountain of music right now, this second. I know you are. Awesome. Yeah. I know you are. So, yeah, what, yeah. but but do you take as I've much? I've totally overcompensated. <laughs> Completely overcompensated. Do, do you take as much pleasure as as uh, adding a riff, you know, like a, a Sandman riff or something that just lives forever and ever in the history of rock, than you would songwriting credits? Well, I mean, you know, you want to write something that kind of like just keeps on giving people mm -hmm. happiness, mm -hmm. enjoyment, you know, whatever. You want to write a piece of music that that, that someone can just go to. 
and just continually just get whatever they need to get out of it. And I think, you know, when you've achieved that, then that's like, that's real, real success. Yeah. You know, when you can be of service to someone through music and create something, I don't want to really call music a product, but you know, if you can like come up with, with this, this experience that will, you know, for, for a long time afterwards, continue to help people and bring people joy and happiness in whatever small ways, then that's an amazing thing. For me, I mean, that's like, that's like a, almost spiritual, you know? So you guys never... Fuck finances, fuck money, fuck s stuff, fuck, you know, the FCC, yeah. whatever. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. We can take care of Does that. Does it get old being a millionaire? Yeah. What's that? Does it get old being a millionaire? You know, it just comes with a, a whole bunch of different problems. Different problems. Bro. Yeah, and, and you know what? I'm not very good at, 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 at saving money. You, you, you spend it on comic books. I had comic and books and movie stuff. posters and horror stuff and guitars. and. Well, I think... And, it, you know, I just... That's what you do. I, I, I live my life. Good you know? for you. I just, I just fucking live my life. And, and, and you know, I, I'm generous. You know, I... I the people who are around me experience what I'm experiencing while I'm experiencing it. Well, I think that it would not be Southern hospitality is of us, if that's even a word for... Southernicity you know, is a word. Bailey and Southside not to offer our services, Kirk Hammett, when you yeah. want to give away some of your millions. Okay. Uh, partner and I are... All right. so look at our smiling, poor faces. <laughs> I love you so much, Kirk. We love you so much, Metallica. We love you, Kirk. Well, uh, don't look at me. There's other people out there. Uh, uh, so probably the biggest question in this conversation, Kirk, is when will Metallica play a freaking Super Bowl halftime? Yeah, you know, talk, talk to the fucking NFL, man. It's not up to us. I mean, we'd be But you do it, right? You would. Oh, yeah, we'd be there in a second. Come on. Come to, it's right. Super Bowl, it's Metallica. Awesome. To me, it, it, it's a no-brainer. We're ready for but it. But there's someone up there. In that knows ivory, Beyonce, loves yeah, Beyonce. There's someone <laughs> up there in their, their ivory tower that, that's going, new, new yep. Metallica. New, no. Not this time. It's time. Has, has there ever, has it ever? It's definitely time. It's time. Has it ever gotten to the point where there've been negotiations with Metallica to bring them in as the halftime performance? Well, the closest we got was a couple years ago when when the Super Bowl was down in Santa Clara and we played uh, uh, AT and T Park, but uh, 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 but the night before, and that was called Too Heavy for Halftime. Yeah, awesome. Uh, yeah, and you That's know, clever. you know, that was that was the closest we've gotten. But I mean, you know, they have a certain criteria. You know, they have certain priorities that they have to fulfill. They have, so, you know, a certain sort of like look and feel that they, they want to uh, like project during halftime. So it's complicated. You yeah. know, I it's, think America's ready for you. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I think they are. Absolutely, bro. And, and, and in closing, because you did Jimmy Fallon. Now we had a discussion uh, here in the end. Did that bother you playing? Because I thought you can play children's instruments. You can do anything. Was that fun for you, or yeah, you're like, what the great. hell are we doing? It was great, but you know, they kept on telling me we got to film this over because Kirk looks way too serious. <laughs> but I was just trying. What were to you like, playing again? I was playing little like mouth organ. <laughs> Uh, some Kurt, sort of well, like uh, cut, melodica, cut, melodica. Cut. melodica. That's yes, what it's that's called. What it was. I had a. We, I thought it was awesome. We, he, he, Steve's asking that because I had a problem with it. As a See, gear, I thought it was cool. As a gearhead, I'm like the only thing that is pure in the rock world is today Metallica. is Metallica. I can't have him play kids' instruments on. But he's got Island. kids now. I, I, you know, I. Used to, I you should see my house, man. I got all sorts of different sorts of instruments all over the house, and my my kids and I would just grab stuff and start playing it's it. It's awesome. Yeah, and then so I got into the habit of just like picking something up and just kind of like tooling with it until I kind of I can find my way around it. They'll be musicians. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know if they want to be, but you know, maybe they'll be in the ballot. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they'll be doing your nails on the Maybe. road, and you can have them on the road. Who knows? Dude, All right, look, we we got to go. Bad ideas, guys. Bad Cut. Ideas. Let's Let go back cut. to giving Bailey and Southside some of your money. money. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kirk Cammett, Metallica. So, so, okay, so so huh? Bailey and Southside. Yeah. Why Southside? That's Southside Steve. Southside Steve. Oh, Southside Steve. Got yeah, it. You grow up on the south side of town. In this town, you get hell for it. So I carry the flag for an entire hey. entire side of town. You, okay. we're, we're like we're like the. But I haven't lived on this side of town in a long time. We're like the equivalent to Metallica. Metallica and radio. We really are. Right. In Atlanta, at right least on. to five yeah. or ten people. No, we're, <laughs> we're, big deal. we're big deal. We're the only ones in Atlanta that play Metallica. Hey, thank you guys. Seriously. And then, and then Rock 100.5. And did I thank you? 
No, thank, thank you. you. Okay. The check. Remember the check thing? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. We'll talk later. Look, Metallica, SunTrust Park, uh, this has been an absolute honor and a pleasure. Kirk Hammett, thank you thank so you. much, brother. It's Rock 100.5. Thank you.